Hi, I missed you. <laughs> okay, guys, let me just. Hello, everyone. Let me just position myself properly and then we can talk. There we go. I think that's better. So, it's Sunday and I was doing some TikToks, minding my own business. And I played this one TikTok about to do it and the song was my worship but it was the one section the quarter part that said I will not be silent and I will always worship you and as I'm doing this TikTok if you go to my feed I'll probably have it uploaded by now the Holy Spirit literally came over me and I just started crying because I was about to close this platform a few weeks ago because I was going to allow the enemy to silence me when I know that this platform is absolutely and totally glory to God in every way possible. And my friends, my family, everybody that knows me and knows me well knows that it's about God. Yes, I'm human. I make mistakes and I do many things like other humans. Um, but my heart is always centered to God. And I'm not going to cry. I My video was going to be my video. Thanking you all for this journey. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here. And I'm like, Holy Spirit, like, why are you be doing these things to me? So my eyes are literally because of this. Because I just had a very intense worship session. And... Um, yeah, here we are. Um, I don't think it's necessary for me to open up about what has happened because it's not um, something that I really want to entertain. And I also removed a lot of the, when I was going through a lot of emotions, um, I removed a lot of stuff. I removed a lot of stuff from my um, posts and things I updated during my time where I was just going through the most. And... Um, my husband was saying to me, you don't need to explain nothing to nobody. And, you know, and um, just whoever came across this video who doesn't know me <laughs> and just clicked on this video. Um, I am Shandre. Welcome to my channel. I, um, I need to reintroduce myself basically to everybody, I think. Um, I think that I have used this platform to always share my journey in a way to inspire people, in a way to um, help people grow and motivate people. Because I always thought that I wish that I had someone when I was growing up, a colored female, um, someone that looked like me, someone that grew up where I grew up and I always wanted that and I always hoped to have that um, and I thought I could be that person by doing that I have opened up my home to people on here and I have opened up my life to people on here and the softy that I am and um, I think because of who I am, or should I say was, um, people kind of took advantage of that in a way where um, some people felt entitled to speak to me a certain way, to just expect of me to do things a certain way. And um, then things just got hectic in business. Um, we went from completing um a certain amount of orders a day to now having to complete three times four times that because of just growth which is always great and um it all spiraled down it just became too much for me to handle because of people and the reason why i say because of people was because of expectations that people placed on me because when we were smaller i could always deliver that specific um 
type of service I could always chat to them online which I always loved and you guys know I say that in um, one of the videos that is why our business grew because I've had genuine relationships with people um, and I've always been genuinely interested and then I started People started sending me messages like, hi, you've not posted my picture. I, I, um, you've not posted my picture yet. I tagged you in it. And I'll be like, oh my word, I didn't see it. Um, I'll have a look now, for example. Um, small things like that. That's how it started. Then it started becoming things like um, people just expecting you to... I will never forget this. One lady's like, hi, please drop it at my place. I'm like... Um, I don't know, I didn't see courier fees and the lady's like, um, no, but you can just drop it at your moment if you have a moment and I was like, okay, that's just two of the examples. Um, another example is someone, I think she did it out of love, I think she did it out of love. Um, but she commented, she sent me a WhatsApp, I didn't get the WhatsApp, and she further went to email me, um, and I will most likely put in the email here, because I think she did it out of love, I won't mention her name, but this email was the wake-up call that I have given people the right to dictate to me how to run my business, how to run my life, what to post, who to post what to do, and because I've always been that person, the moment when I was, um, you know, saying to someone, for example, um, you know, unfortunately I cannot drop, um, unfortunately I can't drop off your parcel, I don't have the time to drive to your mom or aunt or wherever, um, the courier services will collect, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I directed people to, um, to the person who replies to our WhatsApp messages, as soon as I changed our WhatsApp number because I was no longer in the position to reply immediately and that for me is so important um, when it comes to communication, you know. And as soon as I started doing things like that, um, all of a sudden, I don't know, people probably didn't expect us to maybe grow and get to this point. Um, but anyway, so all of these people's opinions and inbox messages and DMs and stuff just I just had enough of it and I just decided to go silent. Um, not silent, but mostly within myself. And my husband started noticing it. Um, during this time of change, I, I, I can't say I ended friendships. I think um, life has caused for certain people to not be in your life anymore. And doesn't matter if I miss them. I think it's fine the way it is. I think it's better the, the way it is for my, for maybe both of our, or whoever's mental health or whatever the case. Um, but I just, I just got to a hectic spiral where I felt like I was in this tight corner. And I was not going to post about it or anything, but during that time, people still had these high demands. And then I posted something on social media um, and I just said growing pains are so hard. And before that I stopped posting my kids and I just started going within myself more and more and more and started um, in a weird way isolating myself from people. And I'm still there where I am learning to open myself up to friends, I don't know if I will ever, one no, I won't say I won't, don't know, um, I'll just say I'm trusting that God will heal me completely, so that I'm able to just be that friend that I hope uh, to be, and that is expected of me, because I think I got hurt quite a few times when it comes to friendships, and I think I mean, I need some healing. And that healing is going to take time and it's going to happen and when it happens, it's going to be good. But I feel like myself, I am feeling much more like me 
like who I was before Hoppity, before business. For me, it's quite sad that my personal life is attached to my brand. And I've said a few times that if I should do it again, I will definitely do it anonymous and I'm not joking. Um, Bloom's subscription box, I wish I could have done anonymously, honestly. Only because of the fact that I just want to be able to be me and just be me. Like if I want to post about whatever, I don't have to worry about whatever. Um, yeah. I wanted to say something and I was like, <laughs> no, don't say that. Mm -mm. Needless to say, guys, I have honestly missed this outlet. I have missed um, just coming on here and chatting. And I've missed just being me on here. Um, I also want to thank, I've got a list of names that I can probably mention, but I want to thank everybody that has honestly come through to my social media and during that dark time sent me messages there was one person that sent me a message on a friday night um after i've not seen my family for 24 hours because i slept at work and i worked through the night and i worked the full day and then and i and i was on my way home and at seven o'clock she sent me the ugliest message i broke down at work, in tears, with my whole family and my team around me. And they just came to hold me and pray for me. And I came home and I was in bed. And I only got up the next day, the Saturday, probably around seven. And my sweet angel husband gave me my space um he came checked on me every time brought me food coffee whatever i needed and um i could not believe i could not believe that me like me like this girl this gal <laughs> allowed people to get me into that hole like not me man like not me I am too super strong human person, um, you know, to allow people to get me there. Like, I'm the one that tells people, don't allow, blah, blah, blah. I definitely think that it all just hit at once, like everything just hit at once. And um, I think this is really character building year. I asked God in the beginning of the year that he should work on me and i feel like he's just like okay 2021 is gonna be that year honey we're we gonna work on you and our god is like just doing his thing and he's just going crazy with this the working on me situation but anyway and um during that process i realized that the team that i have is gold um that i'm surrounded by people that generally have my best interest at heart and that like money gone by that i'm sorry money gone by that um i also had to learn that a lot of the people that is on you that's listening or watching maybe just because they're busy they nosy they want to be in other people's business um some people that's listening on here for their own entertainment and other people are genuinely genuinely genuine like i've connected with people that I feel like they're my friends, genuinely. Like, I feel like they are genuinely my friends. Like, I'll text them, I will speak to them, I will DM them. Like, I feel like I have gained so many people, friends on here. And as I'm healing in that department, I feel like they are gradually helping me to heal in that department. And with that being said, I, I really just wanted to say that I am kind of still figuring out what I want to do with this channel. I'm still figuring out what I want to continue to share on here. 
I'm still figuring out um, what I shouldn't share. Um, but most importantly, I kind of, um, in a weird way, just feel like after that intense worship encounter with God, I just felt the Holy Spirit tell me, be you. Be you in every way. Like, just don't be silent. Um, and just be you. And I want to be me boldly and loudly because that is what I always um, tell people to do. So I want to do that. I want to do that and I want to be that, you know. So um, I am back, to say the least. I'm back. Um, but I just felt like I don't want to just come on you after, what is it now, two, three weeks and just act like nothing happened. Um, because a lot of you obviously follow me on Instagram and have been um, knowing and seeing what's happening. On an extremely exciting note, Hopper T is turning five years old in May. We have a lot of stuff planned and the team would really love for me to vlog a lot of what we have planned. So I'm going to share that with you. Um, a lot has changed. Obviously, you guys know we moved into our new premises. Um, so much has changed. A lot of the tasks have been taken from me. And when I say taken, I genuinely mean that. Um, I don't have to do a lot of things anymore because um, we appointed new people. Um, we have um, a marketing and um, admin person, mostly for bruises, starting tomorrow. Um, and my team has just been, they've been working overtime without me asking them to work overtime. Like they've been doing things without me having to ask, like check things or it's just, they just on level now after the storm that I just feel like, wow, I'm so happy the storm happened. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that, that I get to work alongside people that have my back, you know. But nonetheless, I am going to say goodbye for now because we are on our way to chat. Like it's, like it's almost 20 minutes of us just chatting. Um, but God is faithful, guys. God is faithful. God is so faithful. And yeah, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new me. Welcome to everything new, everything great, and everything amazing. And I honestly missed you guys. Take care. Bye.